Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and we'll be looking at Adobe Aero to set up a quick augmented reality test. We see that we can position our field of view as needed, and that would be by using the Orbit Pan or Dolly tool. We can import some assets. Here I'll import a PNG logo. We can position it as needed using the Move tools. We can also go to the properties on the bottom right to alter it there. If you click down here to behaviors, there are different behaviors you can assign to your image. However, first let's add something else to this composition. We will add a PNG sequence. I've already zipped it up for ease of adding. This PNG sequence is on an alpha channel, and so that will avoid us seeing the background, which will be great for AR. And we want to make this a lot bigger, so we can go to our properties and enhance the scale. We can move it back in Z space. And now let's get into our behaviors. With the logo selected, we can set it to that when we tap the logo, since we have an animated PNG sequence, we can play the images of our sequence at whatever frames per second we want. I happen to know that this PNG sequence is set to 15 frames per second. And I find one of the best ways to test it is actually on your phone. So you can click share and then you can hit create link. And this is going to generate a QR code for you to scan with your phone. And once you do that, you can open an AR player on your phone. Now I'll switch over to my phone. You can see that we scan this. We find the surface. We tap to set the scene. I can see the logo on the floor of my office. This is absolutely live video. You can tell that as the dog walks by here. Remember I set it to tap on the logo. So when I tap the screen here, the PNG sequence starts to play, which is this medical device spinning around. And it will stay at the point on the floor so that if I move my camera around, it's going to stick to its point on the floor. Another example here is I put it in another room in the house farther away. And you can see that as I walk up and put my phone down level with it, I look straight on to this product. And so figuring out your orientation and scaling and positioning an era would be key. Even though my PNG sequence is of a 3D rendering, this is 2D. Note that if I go to the side, we'll see that this image becomes flat. But this is just a quick way to get involved with augmented reality using Adobe Aero. Thank you.